Hello, this is R2 and welcome! The current position is from the game Levenvich vs Jurovich, if I pronounce that correctly. It is played in Leningrad, 1934, trying to find a forced win for white. If you want to do so, hit the pause button, because I'll continue in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed searching for the answer. Now let's have a look at the position. If we notice the white work on G1, we can see that it has a control over the half upper file. The rook on E2 also sits on a totally open file. Besides that, we see that the white bishop and the white queen share the same diagonal and have some strength. Uh, about the black position, it is important to notice that the black king is a bit uh, vulnerable and also that the black bishop is attacked twice and defended twice. That gives us the following perhaps odd looking move. Rook takes g7. Check! I said odd looking because it seems like everything in black's camp can capture the white rook now. But none of, the, uh, but none of those uh, work. Let's examine all possibilities, shall we? First, Black like has to be stubborn and decline the offer of the rook and play King of Eight. Well, that's very easy, then we just take the bishop and after Queen to F7 forced its mate. Ouch. So that's not going to happen. So let's try something else. Let's try to take the rook with our king. Now, checkmate in one. Ouch, it's also not very good. With knight in. Oh. Same pattern, checkmate. Okay, so let's try rook takes rook. If rook takes rook, then again, we take the bishop, check, king g8, forced. And now, after rook, takes e6, we have a double threat, we threaten checkmate on g7, and we threaten the queen on e8, and there is not an uh, adequate solution to solve those both. Let's say uh, queen to f7, then rook e8 check, queen takes e8 and mate. Okay, all previous moves worked because uh, after the white rook took on g7, the bishop on f6 lost his defender and only had the king as defender, but that doesn't really work when there are two attackers. So, so it worked because the bishop lost his defender, so the most logical move now, and our last try, is bishop takes g7. After bishop g takes e7, <coughs> after bishop takes e7, then queen takes f5 really is devastating. Black cannot do anything that uh, saves his position. If bishop back to f6, then checkmate in one. Well, the only other move he has is king to e7. Uh, after king to e7, I think it is very clear that rook takes e6 check is a very very clear win for white. Let's play uh, two more moves, king d7 and takes the queen with check so it's totally lost here. Uh, when you play it like this it seems very easy but it really isn't. If you play uh, over the board there's not somebody saying to you there is a forced win here, try to find it. And that's real difficult with chess and it makes it uh, a great game to play. Well, thank you again. I hope uh, you'll be joining me soon again.